Hey, hello lovers and friends. My name is Mia Marie. I am a Western tropical astrologer and I make content about astrology and tarot. So if you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now today I'm going to be talking about the full moon in Capricorn. This full moon is beautiful because it brings all of our karma out on the table and we're able to look at how far we've come in a particular situation. This full moon takes place on July 3rd, 2023 at 4.49 a.m. The sun is in the second decan of Cancer, which translates to two of cups energy, which means that you are focusing on your development and accomplishments as it relates to a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Because the sun is in the second decan, we can naturally assume that the moon is also in the second decan, but of Capricorn which is represented by the three of pentacles, Mars and Capricorn energy. Mars is the most successful in Capricorn. We're thinking Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, indicating that what you're reflecting on right now and what you're working through will be considered legendary in the story of your life. But you're not quite done with it yet. You're still working with it. This just marks a time where you will be celebrating the many small achievements that have delivered you to this moment. It feels like a major win for you. Mercury is pretty cozy with the sun at this time, which adds illumination and focus on the mental strength you're exercising during this transit. You're moving through this moment consciously and you may feel a little less emotional about the topic than you normally would. Now, the sun in Cancer is also conjunct Juno, which says that there is a specific partnership in your life, not romantic, that is supporting you as you grow in this area. The sun is also making contact with Saturn, which only strengthens your ability to explore yourself honestly and openly with a sense of feeling grounded and self-assured. Pluto will also be squaring the nodes in the final degrees of Taurus and Scorpio. This emphasizes a major turning point, saying goodbye to the old and welcoming the new. If you've been feeling like you're in a rut, this is the release point. You can and also expect new friendships and relationships, associations and groups and projects, and perhaps even a new marriage if you aren't already married. You will be exhibiting new habits, uh, projects, and you'll be incorporating new people into your life. This energy is supportive of throwing away old possessions, renovating your house, moving your business. See where in life this is happening for you. So if you're a Capricorn rising, this is showing up in your first house of identity and self. So you are releasing old identities that were negatively impacting your ability to shine. You may be letting go of poor eating habits or anything that impacts your physical body. Aquarius, this is in your 12th house of mental health and self-imposed isolation. You could be letting go of an attachment to your old emotional body and allowing yourself to be reborn again. Pisces, this is happening in your 11th house of goals, aspirations, and organizations, as well as friends. So you may be putting to rest any long-term goals that you had previously established that no longer align with who you are. You may also be leaving a network that you closely associated with. Aries, 10th house of career and life mission more generally, which means that you are shedding a skin as it relates to your public image. You could be leaving a job or looking for other ways to express and support your life's mission. Taurus, this triggers your ninth house of higher education and belief systems. So it looks as if you are either finishing up a degree or releasing a belief or belief system that no longer serves you and you don't endorse. Gemini, this is happening in your eighth house of intimacy and shared resources. So you will be focused on ending a chapter or cutting ties with complicated people or situations. Cancer, this is happening in your seventh house of committed partnerships, marriage, and business relationships. So there's something here within your relationship space that's needing to be acknowledged, celebrated, or just finished up. Leo, this is happening in your sixth house of daily routines and health. You may be leaving a job or looking to switch up your day-to-day -day routine to better enhance your overall health and productivity. Virgo, this is happening in your fifth house of dating and creativity. So this looks like you're either ending a not so serious situationship and or you're shaming of a new creative project. Libra, this happens in your fourth house of family and your unconscious life. You could be recognizing and releasing old ways of perceiving your family and your place in your family, or you could be selling a property for financial gain. Scorpio, this is happening in your third house of communication. You're letting go of ineffective ways of engaging and communicating with others. And you also realize that your views of the world are changing for the better. You're open to possibility. Sagittarius, this affects your second house of money and self-worth, which means that you have been working to adjust your relationship to money and specifically how you spend it. 